Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. Right, so uh, this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising, and their weekly tarot reading. And uh, give me a second here to shuffle the cards, and we're going to jump uh, right into it. <clears throat> Right, so uh, the first card that we do have, and this is where the Taurus enter into the uh, into the week. <clears throat> that is marked by the Nine of Swords here. Can you see it, guys? Uh, by the way, somebody asked me why do I always uh, look at my watch because of this. I can see what you see. So I can see, can you see the card? Well, uh, because there is a bit of a glare <clears throat> on it. <laughs> All right, so we do have the Nine of Swords as the start of the week. And uh, the Nine of Swords is going to provoke uh, one of the two topics uh, for you, Taurus, at the start. You either going to be brought, uh, either to your attention is going to be brought some kind of a, um, activities or actions that you will have to take uh, in the span of this week that you are going to be rather quite concerned about. That is because those actions are going to bring rather severe consequences. And under severe consequences, I don't mean bad consequences. They are just going to be consequences that are here to stay or they are going to be there to stay. <clears throat> and thus, they are to bring quite of a, uh, quite of a, a change into your life or you have already could have made such an action, actions, I'm sorry, into the previous week. And uh, now that you are expecting those consequences to come about, you're just not sure what the consequences are going to be. With the Nine of Swords, though, you need to know that things in regards to those actions, either you will have to make those actions or not, they are set in stones. What I mean is that what you are afraid of is to happen. And you pretty much need to stand and live up to your fear. You need to stand stand against your fear and uh, and conquer it here with, uh, with this card. Now, this fear, it could be that... Uh, I'm just speculating here, guys. This, this fear could refer to that if you do make those actions, you may lose your job. Or if you do make those actions, you may kind of be left alone into your relationship. It's very, it's very well as well accompanied when you have something to say, but you, you cannot hold it in any longer. You just have to say it to your wife, let's say, or to your husband, and you are afraid how they are going to react on it. So <clears throat> at the start of the week, that is to be your concern. What is to be the reaction of those around you to what you are to do or what are to be the consequences of your actions that you are to do in the span of this week. And right after these fears, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, which is the period in between the start and the middle of the week here. <clears throat> and at that period, you are to see that those fears you do have are pretty much futile they are pretty much in vain because the ace of pentacles once you do initiate those actions or whatever you have to say you do say it you are to see that this thing this, this these actions they do initiate a uh, either a 
harmony into a relationships or either a successful business endeavors. And then their harmony in the relationships, what I mean here is that at least people will know, at least you will know how you stand in the society, uh, what are the interactions in between you and uh, your boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, or in between you and your boss as well. So people will know how exactly they are accepted and you will know how you are accepted into, uh, into the collective out there. Uh, that, uh, and because we do have the uh, Ace of Pentacles, it's highly unlikely that you're going to lose anything from it. Just on the contrary, you have all to gain from that you are to stand against your fears and conquering them here. The Ace of Pentacles, it is when you do make those actions and when you do speak your mind, uh, <clears throat> a rare opportunity to further the goal you have is going to appear in front of you. That is to quench your relationship or to pretty much sprawl into your business. Like I said, successful business endeavors or a uh, harmonies into, uh, into your relationships, may that be intimate or uh, pretty much friendships. And right after that, which is the middle of the week here, uh, we do have the Three of Cups. And uh, with, uh, with this card, it seems that, how can I say, um, this opportunity for you to, to further the goal you have, either career-wise or relationship-wise, is starting to produce results immediately. Now with the Three of Cups, not just only the results are going to come about, but also those that are surrounding you. And for what it seems, Taurus, this week, just from the first three cards, I could say that it is a week of how you do establish, you know, your position into this society, into the collective that you work or within the relationship that you are in. And with the Three of Cups, <clears throat> it's simply all are going to accept you. Because the Three of Cups points that at the middle of the week, you and those that you are tackling with, those that you are interacting with, you, uh, you all are united under the common vision, under the unified vision of how things are to proceed from now on in between you and your colleagues, between you and your boss as well, um, a suite or a wife or a husband, family, if you will as well. And not just only that, but also with the Three of Cups, there will be an emotional attachment in or in between all of you. Nothing is to be with health in a sense of a um, feelings. Okay, so if you if somebody dislikes you, that pretty much is going to be brought to your attention. You will become aware of it. If you are disliking somebody, then you are going to bring that to their attention and we'll make them aware of it. And that is to happen at the start of the week, like I said. And here it is where everybody makes peace with it, okay? Everybody resigns with it. It realizes that it is what it is. It's like that. So what we can make out of it to work out to our benefit, to your benefit. And uh, pretty much at the middle of the week, uh, this is where you will pretty much going to forget about all the concerns and all the worries you do have at the start of the week here with the, uh, with the Nine of Swords, that you are afraid either to do something or either a, uh, to say something. And right after the Three of Cups, which is the period in between the middle of the week and the end of the week, we do have the Two of Wands for you. And you are going to start re recognizing here that you are actually establishing a rather good achievement based on the con conquest of, uh, of your fears from the start of the week, okay? And um, <clears throat> those good achievements, may that be in terms of career or in terms of relationship, it doesn't matter. They're going to start forming up some kind of a, a trampoline for you to step on, some kind of a, a foundation, a stepping stone. And uh, this is going to be a marvelous time, say um, Friday, Saturday, maybe from the, from the mid of a, a Thursday as well, to start thinking of how you can expand on those achievements, okay? Because the two of, uh, the two of wants is a strive for, um, how can I say, uh, a accomplishing the the forbidden things if i may say it that way uh, <clears throat> things that you do want but they are um how can i say they are 
dependable on somebody else. Somebody else needs to give you what you want. And with the two of ones, the energy, it is very favorable for you to get it, to get that green light you need, that confirmation, that approval, and uh, so on and so forth. But at that, at that point, from the mid up until the end of the week, from Wednesday moving forward, it will be important that you, Taurus, are, uh, start think of how you are seeing yourself in the future within your career and within your relationship. And whatever you come up with as a vision of yourself, that is going to be achievable, maybe in two years, maybe in 10 years, but is going to be achievable based on the very first results here that we do have from the Three of Cups that you are accomplishing through conquering your fear, conquesting your fears, and uh, establishing a rare opportunities to further your goal, like I said. Now, uh, I was about to say something else about the two of ones. Um, yeah, um, like I said, there are gonna be approvals and green lights as well for you to get things that um, under normal circumstances, they do depend on somebody else. Uh, very important here is not to be bruisey about it in a sense of that's very demanding and ultimatum like a, a personality because in these cases you are risking to pretty much being left with nothing. How you can accomplish your uh, agenda here with the two of ones is by touching one soul with silk gloves or in our or in our country we are saying you gotta pull someone's soul with a cotton touch rather than with a uh, with an iron um, iron glove if you will and at the end of the week here we do have the uh, magician for you taurus so it seems that well, it, it suffice to say here you are making the magic happen. So with, uh, with the magician at the end of the week, you are now going to have the means, guys. You're going to have the means to uh, sign up the contract you want, to express yourself just as you are for the magician is accepted and liked for what he truly is, okay? So you don't have to pretend to be somebody else, nor you have to oblige to follow someone else's rules, stipulations, code of law, code of conduct, and etc., etc., You are to establish some kind of a sovereignty within your uh, either career field or as well within either your romantic field also. And uh, with the magician at that point, at the end of the week, Sunday that is, you will have a pretty good plan how to proceed forward either into your career or either into your relationship, which plan is going to be supported with a very, very strong determinations. And those determinations are to transpire into rather extremely uh, effective actions and determined and effective actions. So uh, it seems to me, uh, just to summarize all that guys, it seems to me that there is a one small thing that you either have to say or you have to do that you are afraid of either saying and doing or doing. You're afraid of the, uh, the backlash from it. But once you overcome that fear and you say what you have to say, you do what you have to do, then the things are setting to stir for you. Things are simply going to start moving on and you are to find yourself actually excelling into either career, relationship, or maybe in both. Uh, now, as we say relationships, um, I could, and you are single, I could advise you that you shouldn't settle for anything but a person that is accepting you for who you are. That being said, if you have to make compromise with yourself, then that's not your guy, it's not your woman. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.